Documentaries have been around since the first development of motion pictures. The first ever official documentary or non-fiction narrative was a film by Robert Flaherty called Nanook of the North in 1922. Although this was the first official documentary, there have been other examples previous to the 1920 film, such as some of the films the Lumiere brothers made called Baby's Breakfast or Blacksmith. Now let's look at the codes and conventions. <laughs> A documentary is a non-fictional motion picture intended to document actuality. In this video, I'm taking a look at exploring the codes and conventions of documentaries. The first part of the video will be taking a look at the camera shots that are often found in the codes and conventions of documentaries. One of the most prevalent camera shots is the handheld camera, which basically encodes realism and the truth. This helps the documentary to add to the effect of it illustrating actuality rather than fiction. Another technique used in documentaries related to the camera shot types is the fly on the wall filming, which apparently captures real events as they happen. This helps illustrate the idea that what the viewers are seeing within this documentary has actually happened. Often, the case of documentaries is that the camera shot types are often point of view with encoded ideology with a preferred meaning. This means that the audience become engaged with the documentary for the POV shot and take on the meaning of the documentary more as they feel more immersed with the storyline. It's equally important to note the use of an establishing shot and close-ups, close-ups which are often found in the interview portion of the documentaries which allow the audience to become more immersed in the storyline. Equally, the establishing shot helps the audience to understand the whole situation. Moving on to sound. Sound appears in documentaries both diegetically and non-diegetically. Indoors. Make sure. Everyone's out. One of the most common forms of non-diegetic sound within documentaries is the narrative voiceover, which helps lead the audience into preferred reading. The gender and accent within the narrative voiceover plays an important role in helping the audience relate and understand the preferred reading. Another extremely important example of non-diegetic sound in documentaries can be the use of emotive music. Many documentaries would not have the same impact if they didn't have the music that accompanied them, and often the documentary relies on the music to help convey the story. An example of this could be the documentary Don't F with Cats, where the use of strings helps draw the audience in and build tension. Next is editing. Documentaries often have a shorter running time than non-fiction feature films. However, with the development and popularity of streaming sites, more and more documentaries are becoming longer. A lot of editing in documentaries also includes intercutting or parallel editing, linking key scenes. This is often the case when the documentaries are relating the stories in chronological order. Editing plays a crucial role in documentaries. Documentaries create mediated culture. This is commonly due to the fact that documentaries select and construct, thus encoding opinion and subjectivity. The selective editing is crucial to construct a meaning. Often documentaries tell actuality rather than reality. There is often the use of anchorage to encourage preferred reading. Taking a step back from the first three areas stated, we are looking at a wider list of examples of the codes and conventions within documentaries. Often, the audience will see a creation of a narrative journey in order to answer a question. This is common with documentaries, as audiences watch documentaries to have their questions answered. Documentaries equally include vox pops and interviews with experts, witnesses or participants. This allows the audience to fully understand the situation of the story. As well as having interviews and live videos, documentaries will also use archive footage or photographs to support the filmed scenes. Because documentaries are often exploring actuality, it's the often exploration of narrative themes that are messages and values of the filmmaker themselves. Documentaries are important because they share the same intention to entertain audiences, but they also look to inform, to educate, to satirise, shock, or satisfy the audiences and provide a voyeuristic pleasure and for propaganda purposes. Equally, within the filming of the documentary, use of mise-en-scene or props is used to reinforce ideas about characters or themes. 
This can often be evident in the interview aspects of documentaries.